filled with on and off rainfall. It was a gorgeous sunset. Great end to the day. And many of you sent in nice photos of the rainbow overhead as well. This is from Carmela, and you can see plenty more of these on our 13 Weather Authority photo communities. Thanks to all of you sending in those gorgeous sunset shots. Uh, we've got treated to clearing skies just in time uh, to view the sunset after all that rain, especially during the evening. That's now over Lake Michigan. Nothing else moving in, so we're going to stay dry for the rest of the night and for the start of the weekend. Uh, makes planning the weekend a little easier because we don't have to worry about any kind of rainfall for at least the start of the weekend. Get ready for a lot of summer-like weather. Temperatures in the middle 80s. We've got that touch of humidity in the air, so definitely feeling like summer. As you look towards the end of the weekend, though, a few scattered showers and storms may be back into the forecast, uh, so not a completely dry weekend, uh, though a lot of it arrives late in the weekend, so there may be plenty of dry time to enjoy before all that rolls on in. For now, we are looking at partly cloudy conditions and temperatures not cooling off by much. They're down into the mid 60s overnight. And as you plan out your day, here's the morning hours. You can see temperatures rising quickly, going from the 60s to the 80s as we head into the afternoon, then staying in the afternoon under partly to mostly sunny conditions. So we'll definitely have some clouds overhead, but that is, as you can see, won't slow down temperatures much as we do have a bit of a humid and warm day ahead. Definitely grab the sunscreen. UV index all the way up to a eight, which basically just means have that sunscreen handy, at least an SPF 15 applied a lot. We're getting to that time of year. The sun can be a little intense at times. Allergy levels all the way up to a high level, mostly for tree pollen. That's going to stay in place for a couple days because the trees also enjoy all that warm and humid weather. Air quality at a moderate for most of us, uh, not really affected, but if you're sensitive to ozone, we'll have that kind of in play over the next couple days. Uh, so 85 for the high on Saturday. Saturday, partly cloudy, very summer like Sunday, similar conditions, but with a chance for some isolated rain showers or storms. So let's look ahead on future track. Early Sunday morning looking cloudy and dry. We stay that way throughout the morning. The afternoon does have some spotty showers. Uh, you know, lots of dry time to enjoy, but occasionally we'll get that brief shower to pop up in the afternoon. Later in the evening, there's a front that starts to appear into the region that could send some of the spotty thunderstorm activity our way into late Sunday evening. So be aware of that. Possibly some rumbles of thunder late in the evening hours. After that, we're cooling off plenty early next week back down to the 70s and keep an eye on Tuesday, especially late Tuesday. As we have that cold front roll in, there's a possibility of some strong storms. Way too early to say yet if we'll see any severe weather, but keep it on your radar. Just be aware of that going into the early portions of the next week. As the weather starts to cool off, the humidity also goes down starting Wednesday, so a little more comfortable air moving in. As we look towards the holiday weekend, you can see the possibility of some showers and storms on Friday and in your most accurate 10 day forecast, just like we usually see for a holiday weekend, an early preview of a Memorial Day weekend does have temperatures near 80 and also some chances for showers and storms. James, I'm going to focus on this weekend. Really looking forward to the weather tomorrow and Sunday. Alex, thanks. Still to come.